So let us begin with the introduction on what is a partnership and why we have a partnership. So what is a partnership? Suppose there is a sole proprietor. We have discussed the final accounts of sole proprietorship in an earlier module. A sole proprietor form of business is when one person puts in money and carries on a business. He invests capital. Entire profits are his. He is in complete control of his business. That is a sole proprietorship form of business. But when he wants to expand, suppose he has invested 5 lakh of rupees and is carrying on a business. Now he wants to expand. Maybe he needs capital of 50 lakhs, which he is not in a position to bring in personally alone. What does he do? He might get in touch with 4-5 other people, his friends, his acquaintances. He gets them together and forms a business which becomes a partnership form of business. So what has happened? His business has expanded. More capital has come in. His business has expanded. More capital has come in. <clears throat> that becomes a partnership form of organization. Also, not only financial resources, mind you. Suppose a chartered accountant is specializing in the business of preparing partnership accounts for small enterprises. After some time, maybe the clients come to him, his clients come to him and request for some taxation services to help them file tax returns or refer to friends, refer to other companies who need experts in taxation services. Now, suppose this particular individual is not really specialized in tax, but he has a friend who specializes in taxation services. Similarly, he might have other friends, somebody who is involved in internal audit of companies, others who is other, another friend who specializes in bank audits, another friend who specializes in statutory audits of companies, etc., etc. Now, if this 5, 7, 10 people with different expertise were to get together, that business would do very well because at one place, all kinds of professional services are being offered. So, there is pooling of resources through a partnership. Thus, partnership is a bigger form of business over a sole proprietorship. There are more individuals, there are more financial resources as well as technical resources, non-financial resources, resources in the form of expertise, technical ability, experience, etc. How do we define a partnership? What is a partnership? A partnership is an association of persons formed to carry on a business, to share and to share the profits and losses of this business. A partnership is a relationship which comes by agreement. It comes from agreement, <clears throat> not, not a relationship by birth. We have a form of organization called the Hindu undivided family, where it is by birth. By birth, one becomes a member of the Hindu undivided family. But in a partnership, it's a relationship which comes from agreement. Between, there have to be at least two people to form a partnership. And the maximum number of partners is not actually defined by the Partnership Act. But as per the Companies Act 2013, the maximum number of partners is 100. So a relationship, an agreement between two or more persons to share the profits of a business. So they come together to do a business and they share the profits and losses. Losses are negative profits. Share the profits of a business which is carried on by 
all of them or any of them acting for all. This is a very important feature of partnership. It is a relationship of agency because each partner acts for the partnership, each partner represents the partnership and each partner acts. Each partner acts on behalf of the partnership. Each partner acts on behalf of all the other partners. So the partners are liable. Each partner is liable for the acts of the other partners. Partners have unlimited liability just as in the case of a sole proprietorship. This could be one of the drawbacks of a partnership because any one person's acts, all other partners would be responsible for his acts and all partners are personally liable. They are individually and jointly liable for all the losses of the, all the liabilities of the partnership firm. It is not that their liability is restricted to the amount of capital invested by them. So, partnership is a relationship, an agreement between two or more persons to share the profits of a business which is carried on by all of them or any of them acting for all and all partners have an unlimited liability. I repeat, all partners, partners represent the firm, each partner represents the other partners. And the partners have an unlimited liability. So if the partnership firm has uh, losses, they have liabilities, they have obligations, each partner is individually, personally and jointly responsible for these liabilities of the partnership firm.